We're hearing back in for round 8 of the season party of the F1 manager Grimlaid and we're here at the end of Q1 where Perez needs to find a lap to make sure he is through into the rest of qualifying. Got held up in that first run and he has a lovely slip stream from the Ferrari of Carlos Sainz. On the bubble day is Alonso who gets himself out to Ocon needs to find a lap. The TV is out Bottas in that bottom five along with Stroll and Sebastian Vettel. Here is Esteban Ocon now up to the line. Uh, the two Mercedes are okay by the looks of things. Ocon up to the line and he crosses it and he gets out of that bottom five. Now it's Joe on the bubble. Vettel can't get out neither can it stroll it. The only driver that can change the outcome is Granny Joe and he gets himself out of it and he's very into, into Q2. Now into Q2 and George Russell needs to find a lap here. Got held up on his first run and so Mercedes is sending him out early so he can at least get one lap in without traffic. But he's down in the first sector. It's only a personal best in that middle sector. Can he get himself out of the bottom five? Or at least on the bubble. He crosses it and he's up into P5. Into P6. Lewis goes P5. And now they're all track racing up to the line. Joe can't get through. Neither can Ocon and Ricardo. So it's all down to Sonoda. And he can't get out either. Lando is out. Both McLarens fall at the second hurdle. And we are through now into Q3. Where it's Valtteri Bottas setting the pace on these first runs. But we will expect that to be beaten. As George comes up to the line it's only good enough. Second fastest. That's not good. He purple in that final sector though. As Hamilton comes up to the line and it's fastest. Oh, I wish it would stay that way, but the two Red Bulls and the two Ferraris still yet to sit up, set up. You can see Max Verstappen purple in the first sector, purple in the middle sector, and without a doubt, he's probably about to make it purple in that final sector, and he does, and it's provisional pole position for the Dutchman. Charles Leclerc. Put himself P2, Sainz P3, Perez P4. As Bottas will set the lap first, can't improve at the end of Q3 now. As the two Mercedes boys, we are yeah, controlling. As Hamilton and George really need to find a lap here. With Lewis down in P6, George in P8. Bottas splitting us. Magnussen's going to qualify 10th. George though stays P8. And Perez moves up into P3. And Max is going even quicker. Leclerc can only manage second place. Max Verstappen looks like he's going to be on pole. Unless Sainz can find an incredible final sector. Hamilton now up to the line. He stays P5 ahead of Gasly. Sainz does move up. But stays into P3. So that's qualifying out of the way and now we are in to the strategy part of the race weekend. We're going to start both drivers on the mediums, go to the hard. There is a risk of rain coming in the middle of the race. The grid is packed and there's electricity in the air, but there's no surprises in that. It's race day. We saw a reasonable push from Mercedes in qualifying and they'll have plenty of opportunities here to achieve a great result. The work Red Bull did during qualifying was nothing short of spectacular. Now let's see if they can repeat that for today's race. And the sky is looking grey and cloudy today. An effective tyre strategy could prove very valuable as the race plays out. But for now though, let's get ready for all the action of the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. It's a somewhat overcast day for the drivers, who've now taken position on the grid. 
and here we've got Lewis Hamilton. Not as close to the front as they might have wished for, but we know the race order can change a lot during those first few corners. And here we can see Russell. They might not be in the top three spots, but things could change fast once the race gets underway. Everything's been building to this. Here we go with the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go. So as Crofty said, it's lights out and away we go. And the two Mercedes boys are trying to go. There goes Lewis through the middle of Sergio Perez and Pierre Gasly. It looks to have got the job done, but Gasly is holding on round the outside. The stack is all leads from Charles Leclerc and Carlos Sainz. Gasly, though, stays ahead of Hamilton. That's really annoying because that, that was a sensational lap by Gasly qualifying. But Perez goes back down the inside of Hamilton. Hamilton on the inside now. Don't let him go round your apps with the end. For God's sake. They're still side by side. Gasly, though, still ahead. And Perez. Hamilton's won to start through the middle. Didn't last very long. He's back behind both of them. George looks to have gained a couple of places. Or has he known, really? Bottas still in the middle. You really need to get Bottas. And Lewis away from Bottas. And George Park Bottas. As this is Perez. Hunting down Pierre Gasly and Lewis. No pace. No pace whatsoever. And he's falling into Bottas now. He goes clean round the outside of him. Hamilton trying to hold on. You can see George there in the background. An overtake will be available. And I think he's got him there. Yep. Hamilton just holding on. Bottas doing a bit of weaving for some random reason. Round the outside, though, through the tight chicken. And Bottas overtakes Lewis. Unless Lewis wants to keep his nose in and Bottas in there, he looked like he was miles at the That's right. Lewis. But no, he backs out of it. Typical Bottas. And Lewis stays ahead for now. But Bottas, we haven't seen Bottas in a couple of races. In the first couple of rounds back in Bahrain and Jeddah and Australia. He was always there. But he's had a poor Spain and a poor Monaco. And I feel like he hasn't really been in the series since then. Since he's been really annoying at the start of their career mode. But he has re overtaken Lewis there in the team he jumped her in. Which is really annoying. We really don't need this. He's been really annoying again. But I think Lewis does the switch back and look at the exit he gets. Breezes past. George is nowhere to be seen. You may just be able to see him in the background. We're telling now Lewis to try and push. But as we try to focus on other things, Bottas kept really overtaking. They were having a right ding dong battle. Every single lap, Bottas got ahead. Hamilton really overtook him. Bottas got ahead. Hamilton really overtook him. That was every single lap of the race at this point in the Grand Prix. But Hamilton now steamrolls down that straight past the Alfa Romeo and re really overtakes the Alfa Romeo. And here we go, one lap later, straight, straight through. Towards the end of that lap, just. You need to stop that bottle, you're really getting on my nerves. As through those two corners. It's Crofty wants to say there is a yellow flag and Verstappen from the lead of the Grand Prix. What has Max Verstappen done? Maker in qualifying and he's hit the wall and spun round. A rare error from Max Verstappen controlling the pace up front, leading the race. And he has wiped off his front wing by the looks of things. Maybe damaged his gearbox the way he went backwards into the barrier. But that's that's a very uncharacteristic mistake from Max Verstappen who's in cruise control. As once again, Hamilton and Bottas are going at it. And Hamilton looks to have just stayed ahead that time. 
because he does get the job done on him. I need to watch Le um, George's pace because he's briefly dipped into the red. As Valtteri Bottas still there, but Hamilton did start to pull away as coming into the middle of the with Carlos Sainz. He looks to be making his one and only stop of the day. But you can see that the clouds are starting to come Looks over like and as you can see from what Bono was telling Hamilton there is the rain on the camera it has come and there was a threat of rain and it has arrived and that's how three races in a row that we have had rain in our races I just want a normal boring dry race as you can see here the rain is coming down and Red Bull a pit in Perez for the set of the hard tyres. Have Red Bull done a Ferrari? Here is we are coming towards the end of the next lap, going to box Lewis for Inters, and I decided to risk it for George and go into that four wet tyres because that seems to be the way at the minute for some reason. It has been learned in Spain and then managed to take advantage of back in Monaco last time out you see everyone on the inters now everyone boxing and that's allowed Bottas to really get himself back into it Gasly as well he's falling back and George though unfortunately as you can see here on the fullback tires because not a lot really happened after this mad rush to go on to the inters as you can see here everyone this was the time to gain or lose as you can see um Sergio Perez is really struggling as he's mugged by by Lewis one of the horses and his teammate as Perez Perez on the inters a couple of laps later it's all going to pop for Red Bull the staff and puts it in the wall they mess up the strategy for Perez Perez then nearly puts it in the barrier that that final proper corner on the track and spins round and you can see now just a few laps later everyone is pitting again and is on the dry tyres we boxed Lewis for softs we boxed George for mediums because we went a bit earlier with George's strategy we're telling him to push hard and also Lewis to push hard as well as we come down the pitch straight now into turn one goes Lewis and we've kind of left him on his own here. He is so far back from Bottas and that big pack ahead as he is now going to blows with Max Verstappen who's been since that incident he has already been in this race trying to come his way back through and he's gonna go clean round the outside of Lewis there. How, how I wish that this would have been round two of the championship battle but no, our Mercedes is an absolute boat in a straight line and a bus through the corners absolutely shocking this car we've got a long way to go to be back there, there the as this is Esteban Ocon bringing out the virtual safety car me, as he's clipped the that. barrier and we are going to make a second stop for George here with just around 10 laps to go we're going to pit him for the soft tyres, tell him to get the hammer down and to possibly get some better points in this race because he was in no man's land, we really messed him up with the wet tyres and yeah, let's just leave him to do what he can do and see what he can do and yeah, hopefully Hamilton could maybe get back after Verstappen but I highly doubt it now we're just going to leave George to it to push as this is George overtaking Lando Norris he didn't have the pace that I thought he would and the pace I, I would have liked but Perez you would have seen earlier was, in, was behind Lando and he got through and it took many many laps before George now has finally got a run on his fellow Brit and down the inside into the chicane Lando keeps his foot in, they're side by side on the exit. Now he's gonna back out. He needs Lando. 
they don't want to go side by okay, side through yeah. the castle yeah. section yeah. of the lap. But now we're going to skip on to the final lap and it's going to be Charles Leclerc after a poor weekend in Monaco at his home Grand Prix. He wins in Baku for the first time and it's going to be a Ferrari 1-2. What a weekend for them. Complete contrast to what happened in the real life back in Grand Prix. It's going to be Pierre Gasly. Look at this man. To finish on the podium. Lewis is going to come home for P6. And now this is Alex Albon on the final lap. He's locked up. And Albon's crashed on the very final lap of the Grand Prix. They always said that corner was difficult. George could only manage P9 in the end. It's not a good weekend for us. Lewis Hamilton did okay here today. There's no doubt that Mercedes have a lot of potential. Now they need to figure out how to make it work for them. I agree, they have some ironing out to do, but they certainly have what it takes to get there. That's right, and they finished the race weekend in third place in the constructor standings. For the next round in Formula One, the teams are travelling to the circuit Gilles Villeneuve for the Canadian Grand Prix in Montreal. So it's a win then for Charles Leclerc after a poor weekend at his home Grand Prix in Monaco and a great weekend for Ferrari. Another win for them, Pierre Gasly, what a race on his part great podium we need to talk about Nicholas Latifi his teammate crashes out and still finishes in front of him how Leclerc is leading the drivers championship Ferrari obviously miles off miles away in the constructors but I hope you've enjoyed this video here in Blackie we head to Canada next for what I hope will not only be a dry race but will be a better result as well goodbye <laughs>